Daniel Medvedev versus Andre Rublev is the final for the Dubai Championships for 2023. And both players have been very impressive to get to the final stage. Rublev entered the tournament as the number two seed and will take on Krajinovic in the first round. And after a very close first set, he got through in straights, 7-5, 6-2. In the second round, he would take on Davidova Shakina in one of the toughest matches of the week so far. And after saving multiple match points, Rublev got through in a very long match, 1-6, 7-6, 7-6, to get through for Kina. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on the unseeded of Vanna Zanschul, who had beaten Hashinov in the first round. And after getting through the first set, Rublev had to battle in the second, getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Rublev would take on the number seven seed Zverev, who was having his best tournament in his comeback from injury. And even though Rublev had never beaten Zverev in five previous meetings, this time he turned it around, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 7-6, to advance to another Dubai final. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on the lucky loser Arnaldi in the first round. But this was no problem for Medi, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on the unpredictable Bublik, who he'd had some battles with in the past. But again, Medvedev was too strong, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Chorich, the number eight seed, who he had a losing record against head-to-head. -head. But you wouldn't know it because Medvedev destroyed Chorich, 6-3, 6-2, to continue his streak and make it to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Medvedev will take on the number one seed and number one in the world, Novak Djokovic, who had been undefeated so far this season. But Medvedev wasn't phased, keeping his streak alive and beating Djokovic, 6-4, 6-4, to advance to the final. These guys have played six times before four with Medvedev holding the head-to-head 4-2, but Rublev has won their last two matches, including an epic last year at the ATP Finals. If Rublev's going to win this one, he needs to keep his head, like he's been doing the last couple of matches. He's been very cool, calm, and collected, especially against Vera. That was a very interesting matchup because he did have the bad head-to-head -head record against him, but he didn't lose his head. He kept his cool, and he did get the win. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he needs to frustrate Rublev. He's played Rublev a lot, not just in their adult lives, but also growing up together. So he knows how to make Rublev tick. And by getting the ball back many, many times, that's going to frustrate Rublev, I reckon. And that's what Medvedev wants. He wants Rublev to be a little angry and just to get as many balls back as possible. This is going to be a very interesting final and probably the final that we didn't expect at the start of the tournament. Maybe Medvedev, but definitely not Rublev in 2023. But I'm going to go with Medvedev. I think Medvedev's going to win this one in three sets. I think that he's going to get the job done and win his third title in three weeks. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win?